Hey guys, it's Sarah. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I'm back with another Dollar Tree video and I'm so excited to be sharing three DIY ornament ideas. Everything is from the Dollar Tree, of course. These are all really easy. If you guys caught my live hangout, I was doing these DIYs with you there. So I wanted to come on and show you guys the finished product. Also give you guys a couple more ideas that you can use. My DIYs are never Pinterest perfect. They're always just an idea and inspiration so you guys can run with it and do it your own way. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so very much. And girl, we are so close to 80K. I can taste it. So please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Without further ado, guys, let's get started. So the first DIY is this unicorn and I just am in love with her. I think she's so cute and girly. So we're going to start with pink paint and I'm going to be using just regular acrylic paint. You could also use glitter, whatever you have on hand. Inside of one of the large clear ornaments, I'm going to add our pink paint and you want to just add a good amount, twirl it all around so that it coats the whole inside of the ornament. And then what I like to do is inside of like a small container, I just flip it upside down and make sure all the excess paint drips down and this way you won't have a runny ornament. I gave a little coat of gold spray paint to the top just so that it goes with the whole gold theme. You don't have to do that, but I did it because it, it ends up looking a little bit better that way. So now it's time to assemble our unicorn. So for the horn of the unicorn, I just used regular Play-Doh from the Dollar Tree. I used it in the yellow color. I did the base of it first and then I took another piece and just wrapped it around to give it that spiral effect. Once it was dry, I left it out for like an entire day and then I gave it a coat of gold acrylic paint. This ended up working okay. It does kind of look lumpy and bumpy. So if you have like polymer clay, I know that can get really hard. I would definitely suggest using that, but the Play-Doh worked okay. For the ears, I'm just using the regular modeling clay and that ended up working out really nicely. I know a lot of ideas online were to, was to use felt. I used what I had and it worked out just fine. I added some glitter right to the center of the ears. I wish I would have used a different color, but it ended up being fine. Now it's time to do the lashes and I found these decals at the Dollar Tree that have the eyelashes on there. They had a bigger size and a smaller size. If you can't find those, just a regular Sharpie marker will do, but these ended up working really, really well. So what I did is I just cut out the lashes part and I tried to get as close to the actual lash line as possible because this does have a clear backing. Sometimes clear can make like a shiny reflection and you can kind of see it. So definitely try to cut it as close as possible. If you don't have these decals, that's totally fine. A Sharpie marker or black paint will do just fine. But I feel like using these kind of took it a step up. A lot of the ideas that I saw online were using flowers and I didn't have any flowers so I decided to use these snowflakes that I found at the Dollar Tree a while ago. They are kind of like little stickers. What I did is I just attached them in kind of like a crown shape using hot glue and then I went over them with the gemstones, the clear gems, to make it even more of a crown. So I just was adding more of the gems all around um, and I didn't really show this because it was kind of hard. My camera was going like in and out of focus but do as you want guys, you know what I mean? like make it into your own thing you guys can even screenshot it so that you can see what I did if you see the main base of it is the snowflakes and then I added those clear crystal gems all around just to spruce it up even more so I feel like this is kind of like ice princess kind of vibes and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out So our next DIY is perfect for any kids that you have in your life. So these are great for my little boys because they love anything wrestling and anything Marvel. So they have these little figurines in the Dollar Tree in the toy section. We're going to be using those. If you guys want to see the inspiration for this idea, I got it from J Money DIY. Her video will be linked down below. She did a great Disney version and I decided to make it more boy appropriate for my boys. So if you watch back my live, you'll tell that I was struggling a little bit to make sure that my ornament didn't leak. So this is what worked out for me. So I added a little bit of glue to the top. Um, this was just regular Gorilla Glue. And then I took some of the modeling clay and I pushed that down in the cap and then let it all dry. 
Once it dried overnight, it was completely waterproof and it did not leak at all. But I found that if you don't let it dry and you think that it's dry, it may leak a little bit of water. So I know Jay did hers by just adding the glue all the way up and that didn't really work very well for me. But adding a little bit of the modeling clay right into the top really just created a nice seal so it didn't leak at all. Now I'm going to be gluing our figure down to the cap of the mason jar ornament and I'm using just regular hot glue and a good amount of it so that it can attach to the center of the cap. You could spray paint the cap or the whole thing if you wanted to. I just left it as it was because I was really struggling during my live hangout. So I'm like, I don't want to be doing too much because I was having some real issues. I'll link it up in the uh, cards if you guys want to see it. I keep talking about it. The glycerin is one of the only things that I didn't get from the Dollar Tree, but it's one of the most important parts because it's going to make all of the little particles float inside of the water. I got mine from CVS. It was $6. It was in the beauty section by all of the lotion they consider it like a lotion item so towards the makeup like at the bottom by all of the lotion stuff is where I was able to find it they also have it on Amazon I'll have a few other places linked down below but pure glycerin allows like the snowflakes or the glitter to float slowly through the water so if you do want to add water to your ornament this is going to be a really important part and other people have tried it with baby oil there are a lot of hacks out there I tried it with baby oil a long, long time ago and it just didn't work. So glycerin always worked for me. The more you add, the slower the snow will fall. So add in the more, the better. I'm just using this blue and white. It's almost like the snow fetti that I found at the Dollar Tree and this worked really, really good. So it's blue and I added a little bit of the gold glitter as well. Mixed all together. I feel like this is perfect for my boys. My boys are not very girly at all. They're like total boys boys. So if you have boys boys like I do, this is a perfect ornament for them to try to do on their own if they're big enough or you can make it for them and it looks really cute. So the last ornament is an idea that you guys can do using the succulents that we found at the Dollar Tree. So I didn't walk you guys through this DIY because I tried it and it worked and I didn't have the extra supplies. But all you're going to need is one of the packs of moss balls, one of the succulents from the Dollar Tree. And all I did is I cut the moss ball in half and I used the top portion, glued that to the cap as well as gluing the succulent to the cap. And I put it all back together with no water. My husband even said, don't do any water. It looks good without water, but you could use water if you wanted to. Um, I put it all back together and that was the ornament. I think it looks really cute and it's a good way to use the succulents that we've been buying up all year because I know I can't be the only one that's been obsessed this year with the succulents. I have like so many left over. I'm like, let me try to use some in my Christmas decor and I think it looks really cute. So hopefully this video inspired you guys to want to go to Dollar Tree and make your own ornaments. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because it helps me out so very much. I love you guys. I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye guys.